TST, a solutions company. In this video, we're going to go over the edit faces command. This can be found in modeling and edit faces inside of Visi. All we have to do is select on a face. Once we select that face, we can drag that face out and move it. You'll notice the radiuses move with it, the chamfers move with it, and the concentric hole. If we don't want this concentric hole to move with it, we uncheck the concentric hole button. Now you can see this face is individual, and that concentric hole is not moving with it. Now if we exit this command and re-enter the command so I can select something different, when I go to my tangent faces, I can select this slot. I'm going to go back to individual faces and also pick this exterior part. Once I hold my Alt key down, I can move this work plane to a new location. Now with this location, I can see that that's the Y angle. I can come in and crank this Y angle at any degree that I want. And you can see everything stays tangent, everything moves with it. So if I want to go to 45 degrees, I can move it to 45 degrees. Now for my x-axis, if I want to move this out, I can, or I can scroll and move it out in this direction, or type a value in. I can accept this wherever it is. If I wanted to make this part thicker or thinner, I then just have to grab the top, and I can drag it down or drag it up, making it thicker or thinner. It does not matter which side I grab. I can grab the radius side, I can grab the chamfer side, and change the height of this part. Another thing that we can do is something like this. We've got a pocket. We need to make it a little bit bigger. We can see we have a broken surface up here. It doesn't matter. We just pick this one surface and I can grab this arrow and just drag it to my value. I can also type that value in and I can accept it. So I can do that on both sides of the pocket and make that pocket whatever size I need it to be. If we have imprinted surfaces, such as lines, we can grab that imprinted surface and I can grab the Z arrow and drag it up or I can drag it down in and create a pocket. So I can create a boss or pocket just from an imprinted area. I can grab this end right here and drag this up and you'll notice it'll go to the tangency and once it hits its tangency it goes straight out. Once it's straight out I can grab this area here and I can extrude it up and you'll see when it gets to the tangency it changes into a solid. You drag it up, drag it over and create something like this. If I wanted to make this end longer I could grab this end and just drag it out. You'll notice the surface lines on here. If you want to simplify those you just check the box to simplify it and it will simplify those lines directly out of there. If you ever need to make a pocket deeper or bigger or go all the way through, you can pick an area like this and I can just grab this and drag it right through the block. You can see I can go right through with any surface. Now there's another mode inside of here which is offset. So if I go to my edit faces command and I pick a certain face, I can come into this offset area. Inside of offset I can scroll this value up and you'll notice the entire part get bigger. If I turn concentric faces off, then when I change it, it's just going to be the surface that I wanted. You notice the blends stay the same, but they readjust for the new diameter. Again, pick on an area, go to my offset, and I can scroll these values or type in the value that I want to offset it. Thank you for watching today.